Hello everyone, it's Monica here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with a step-by-step -step tutorial for a card I showed you when uh, uh, Luke Collins launched her brand new uh, Christmas collection, a vintage Christmas. And I showed you other projects as well and I asked if any one of you wanted to see a step-by-step -step tutorial for any of the cards. And I think most of you really requested this uh, card, a white red and the one with the lantern so i thought that uh, because uh, there is new launch coming this friday from lou i thought it's time actually to do this tutorial before i showed you the new collection so uh, i'm going to use this uh, vintage christmas large lantern as you can see that's all the elements from that uh, beautiful die and i already got them cut out so i don't know if you know the measurements let me tell you the measurements of that lantern if you haven't got that die yet i think it's a really pretty die and i love because it comes with so many different elements so it's almost four inches it's actually in centimeters will be nine and uh eight millimeters so it's quite nice size and of course you've got those elements i actually put this one together because you've got those berries uh, separately so you can cut them from different color or cardstock and i put this one already you've got those branches you've got two of those and you've got um the acorn and you've got other elements for your lantern as well so in a minute i'm going to put this one together to just to show you how to do it so this is the set and i'm using this vintage christmas uh, knitted pattern uh, this is five by seven 3d embossing folder so these are the two main products and you just need a colored cardstock whichever you want so let me do this I just need a sip of water i've got a little bit of a cold and today i don't know uh, how is the temperature where you are but we've got 20 degrees in london so it's a bit hard having a, a cold and uh, dealing with that a bit higher temperature so first what i'm going to do i've got some inks i've got distress inks in a uh, vintage uh no walnut stain i was thinking about vintage photo but i took walnut stain and i've got the shabby shutters my favorite green color uh, so first i've got as you can see i cut out this uh pine cone not acorn or is it i think it's a pine cone anyway you can correct me and this one is done already so I'm going to show you how to add a little bit more extra uh, interest into this by adding Maybe I need something like a, a blending mat. Just give me a moment. Oh yeah. Oh, I don't know what, but I'm really hot today. And so I'm adding a bit of color. <clears throat> and I'm going to check how it looks, if uh, I'm happy with that or I need a bit more. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit more and it's so easy to just line it up with that uh, cutting die. Just press it down with your finger and just add more color. You can use lighter, you can use darker, it all depends on what kind of look you're going for. <clears throat> so, let me just take it out and I think it's nice so let me put it here so before I actually lose it and then I going to take this one and I'm going to do exactly the same but with a green, green color maybe I should take a smaller brush that would be actually better and I will clean my mat off later so the same with the green not much maybe i need another darker what i'm going to do actually i will actually da add a little bit of brown let's see will it look a bit better you can just do whatever you want yeah i think it looks fine so i'm going to put this away keep the die on the side what else do i need to do for the lantern in that die set we also have this beautiful uh, um, candle and let me just clean off my mat and then I need another brush 
and uh, for my previous project what i did i actually used ink but this time i'm going to use uh, for the for the light itself i will try to use the uh, alcohol marker this one is from that set creative craft products it's alcohol marker and let's see if it will look okay yes looks fine just a little bit of red and if you want you can actually pick it up do the edges as well so you will not be able to see that white card any longer and you can color the whole flame or just a little bit as i did over here and then i can put this away and add a little bit of yellow for my <clears throat> candle itself i do have a little bit of yellow color on, on that brush so i'm not sure which ink is it i'm sure it's different inks all together and yes that's fine so all my elements are ready uh, what i will also do i will add a little bit of highlight with my white gel pen but i will do it once everything will be uh, in place so now for the lantern you've got uh, the base the background you've got that intricate piece over here and you've got those two pieces so let me put it aside so what we need to do we need to put those two first so i'm adding a little bit of glue this one is a book binding glue quite a few people recently asked me about that and i'm trying to actually upload uh, some information about that glue i get it from back home and i usually have quite a lot of that glue so you just line it up and it will look like this i think it looks really pretty and then you can add the more dimension which you will see in a minute so at the bottom you add the glue on that section as well i just need to clean the uh, the nape of my glue yes i'm just looking double check where do i need to put the glue yes i can see it now a liquid glue is the best for this and if it's going to ooze out a little bit you can actually use the palm of your hand and just um yeah take off the access so again so easy to line it up then when you turn it over you will have this beautiful lantern and don't worry if the glue will ooze out a little bit because most of the glues they uh, dry clear so you can see now that it's really nice and pretty so now what i need uh, for those uh, two sections i'm going to actually add a little bit of 3d foam pads uh, because I want my, uh, oops, things are falling again. I need a little bit of dimension. As you know, I love uh, adding 3D foam pads. And I got those strips from a friend of mine. Uh, she sent me happy mail. And uh, I think this is so perfect. I don't know where she got it from. But I used it quite a bit already so thank you so much emma <laughs> it's very handy and then and it's so easy because you can actually maneuver that strip so nicely which i love helps a lot okay going to add a little bit for the top and this one is done and now what i'm going to do i'm going to line up this candle and then see where i want that candle in the middle so the flame doesn't go too high because i want it to be really nice in the center and that's what i'm going to do what i'm going to do just not to because <clears throat> i don't feel too great today so i'm going to mark it a little bit just for myself to see to know exactly where to put my candle <clears throat> So 
that's where it goes and then what i did with my project uh, i actually put some some of those uh foliage for those leaves here and then i added that top layer and what i always do i keep repeating the same thing over and over when i add uh, any foliage because i love dimensional cards i apply the glue only at the um, one section and i really like when some of those things are actually uh, quite loose and flowing floating or whatever is the word and then i can add the top layer and now let me lift it up so you can see it will give that beautiful look and what i'm going to do as well uh, i'm going to later on once everything will be finished i'm going to add glossy accent on the tip of that flame and it will look really really pretty so i hope uh you've got the set let me know if you have it i'm just looking for my pokey tool i don't know where it is so i'm going to use my tweezers let's see mm, no i'm going to use my fingernails so yes we're trying to release that unpacking paper from those that 3d foam pad on those strips and what i always do i always add a little bit of liquid glue on that foam just to give myself that uh, extra strength to my project mm. And then even with that liquid glue, it just gives you that uh, extra time to maneuver everything into place. I love that lantern. I think it's so pretty. Look at that. So now I've got all my elements for my cards. I love making cards with the top fold. And that's what I'm going to do. So this one is five and three quarter of an inch. This one measures five inches and this one four and a three quarter of an inch so let me uh, actually start with that embossed panel love that uh, knitted paper a knitted um, embossing folder I think it's so pretty and I definitely are going to use it on baby cards as well and uh, for uh, Christmas it's really handy so i think if you're looking for nice embossing folder to get i think this one is really really handy and it's not going to be only for christmas so yes i'm going to press it nicely and you can uh, ink it if you want or you can as in this case i'm going to leave it as it is and i'm going to actually adhere it flat i think i need a new glue so I'm going to adhere it flat on my card. Actually looking if I've got all the borders even. Just trying to make sure that it's nice and straight. And as you can see, it's such a easy and quite quick card to make. I think it's a bit wonky for some reason. maybe uh, that needed pattern it just gives me that illusion a little bit so now i i'm going to add those elements i need a little bit of that beautiful foliage again i'm going to add a little bit of glue I'm going to leave the other ends without the glue and then time to adhere that lantern And I could raise it on foam pads, but I will keep it as it is. And I'm not going to add any sentiment yet because I'm still not sure which one to use. So I'm going to keep it as it is. Checking my card and then I can add, um, just trying to see which composition works for me. I think I'll add some foam pads here. So a little bit of glue. And then I'm going to use this one. It's 
quite thick but I think this one will be just perfect for I'm going to actually put it in the center so I can still if I want to I can tag uh, different elements underneath it then again a little bit of glue I'm just hoping this video not going to be that long but I want you to see how how to create a card like that now I can add that uh, pine cone. I'm going to add it flat with a little bit of glue. What else? Just stick it down. I've got that other leaf here I could add, which I'm going to do because I still got quite a few of them. Just to add extra foliage and then I've got one of those as well so I think I'm going to add it here so as you can see this card is almost ready I think what you need on the top of that lantern you just need a little red bow just to finish off this project I think I love using ribbons in my projects and uh, tying bows uh, can be a bit tricky but I, I've done this one already it's not perfect but I think it will look really pretty so for that I'm using my hot glue just a touch of hot glue will look really pretty and to finish it off I'm going to add a gem let's see which one would work here the bigger one yeah i like that one with the medium size now it looks quite small so again i need a little bit of hot glue just a little bit Ooh. you can already see that it's um, i can see that little string coming out I've got it and before I forget I've got that uh, I've got white Posca and a white jack and let's see which one will be better I almost forgot about that no it doesn't work let's see if this one will work oh yeah I like it just a little bit of highlight I think it looks really pretty and I'm really happy with that as I said I will add a little bit of glossy accent uh, on the top of my flame and I think that card will be nice uh, and it's really nice and pretty so I hope you like it let me know what do you think about this project do you have those two uh, two products from vintage Christmas uh, collection by Lou Collins let me know so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video very soon Bye for now.